I hope I'm doing all right. I'm trying it. Well, I think I think we're getting on fine, Mr. President. You like it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. I like anything that I do it. I can do well. Good. Well, uh, we got a little problem. The biggest problem we have uh, uh, in the uh, Alabama situation is communicating with George Wallace. Uh, he apparently has his own very uh, strongly held and uh, positive uh, views on just how this thing ought to be handled. And uh, the sheriff is a pretty uh, uh, rough uh, in his uh, operations. And um, they're going to have another march tomorrow. And as we see it, it's going to go from bad to worse. We don't know what program he has to eliminate it. Um, we don't know really, uh, don't have the answers here, but we have some ideas. And we, uh, it would uh, improve the situation a good deal if, uh, if we could uh, speak freely with him and uh, with the confidence in each other. But we have nobody could do that. Do you think that you uh, have that much standing with him? Mr. President, I talked with George, I guess, 10 minutes Friday about the Appalachian Bill. I called him about the Appalachian Bill, and we got over into various conversations and talked. He was most friendly and wanted me to tell you, other than for a free textbook bill, that he had coming up in the Senate tomorrow, he would definitely be here for the signing of the bill. My relationship with George has been very good, but you can't trust him. You talk to him, you don't know what he's going to say that you said and all of these things. But I can talk to him anytime. But it is an element of danger there in talking with George. You think he believes you? Uh, he'll trust me, yes, sir. I think what I'd do then is to call the Attorney General and go over and sit down with him when it's convenient for him today. And uh, his feeling is that, uh, uh, well, he can go over it all with you better than I can, but uh, I would explore it cautiously and carefully and not get into, not dash into anything, uh, just uh, uh, without thinking it through pretty, pretty well. But... Uh, it seems to me that uh, that uh, you, this might be a possible approach that you could say, Governor, uh, uh, we are very concerned with what happens, as you know, and they want us to send troops in. And they say if we can send them into Vietnam, we can send them in to protect Americans that are being, uh, 100 of them being beat up here. And, uh, of course, uh, we... You know how our feeling about sending troops is. We've shown that. We're not very anxious to get in that business. But uh, the, the three judges down there that might give an injunction today to uh, stop the sheriff from uh, interfering with the, the registration. He won't let them get up to register. And then uh, he... Uh, uh, it's pretty brutal with them. Uh, I know the whole background, and I, I know the whole situation. And as I say, George and I have been in contact along, and I can talk to him on a friendly basis, but he's the kind of president, uh, kind of man, Mr. President, that I'd like to have somebody sitting with me because... Yeah, that's right. Well, you could talk to do it with the Attorney General. I'd just... Uh, I'd turn... I'd take uh, my conversation with him. Uh, so, uh, that's right. They'll... Uh, Turn General the reins at, but then you might. Uh, I think if he let them march a little bit, but I don't think you'd have to march the 50 miles down the highway. But if they had any parallel uh, roads that they could march on, or or, um, uh, or some things that way, or by planning, or arranging, or agreeing some way where it didn't affect uh, 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 traffic and, and didn't endanger lives. Uh, John Doerr is down there. He's a pretty level-headed fella. We had uh, 20 or 30 full of FBI men there yesterday. 
one of them got beat up pretty bad, and uh, uh, he, uh, uh, I believe, by one of the state troopers and one of the uh, private citizens, and uh, uh, things of that kind. But I rather think I don't know, but my guess is there might be three or four things that uh, could explore with the with the attorney general. One of them would be uh, permitting them to uh, uh, march a part of the way, or two would be uh, seeing if they couldn't get some local citizens to sit down and talk to them, where they could uh, uh, where they could exchange views. Uh, uh, short of uh, clubs uh, where they could maybe try to talk and see if they couldn't get some kind of agreement that uh, they'd carry out the court order and local citizens would uh, would uh, talk to them about it as they did in uh, Florida and as they have in other places. Part, part, partial march maybe and exchange views and uh, other things, whatever other alternatives there might be, maybe a couple more. Attorney General Goldman, and if any of them appeal to you as offering any uh, uh, practical hope, you might call Wallace and just say, now, um, I want to talk to you about this thing. I'm here because I, uh, I come from uh, uh, Tennessee and I know the situation. Uh, uh, some of them have talked to me about it and they've asked my advice. I want to give them advice. And I, I don't want to be giving you advice, but before I do, uh, before I talk to the Attorney General and others, I'd like to explore some things I've thought of and see, George, what you think about it and see if there is any uh, uh, way that uh, we might find a solution that would be acceptable to the uh, local and state authorities and that uh, might stop some of this stuff or that we might be able to work with. And, and uh, it's awfully important to not get out until we talk the other side, too. And we don't have any control over either side, but we sure don't want to get in a position where we have to send in troops, make it worse. And I just thought I'd uh, exchange views with you, something like that, without getting, uh, without him thinking we're trying to run his business at all, but we're trying to, we're trying to help him because that's what we're trying to do. So I will, uh, if you don't mind, you call the Attorney General Secretary and tell her that uh, where you are and that if the Attorney General and the President's talk to you and if the Attorney General is free to see you any time today, that you'll, be, you'll come to see him. Mr. President, I'm definitely do it. Okay. Thank you. Perfect.